Hi all! For today's CNC project, we're going to be adding some flair to the classic aluminum bottle opener. CNC machines are great at handling multi-material projects, so why not add a nicely smooth wooden handle into the mix? The first thing we'll do is load in two instances of the handle model into our CAM software CAM Lab. We we'll want to make sure that the material stock size matches our piece of wood, that tabs are turned on, and that our feeds and speed settings are appropriate for roughing hardwood. These operations will be using an 8 inch flat end mill for roughing the handle shape and a ball end mill for finishing contours. The material tabs will keep the handle blanks in place for when we run the finishing g-code after the roughing is complete. The key to succeeding in CNC is to make sure that when you set up a project on the software side of things, your physical setup reflects that exactly. So we'll be mounting the material on the CNC, making sure that the screws will be out of the way of the cutting operations, and then making sure that we set the zero accordingly in the sending software. In this case, we're using CNC.js. Here you can see the long mill cutting out the first file, where it's roughing out the shape of the handles, and then we're switching over to a two flute ball end bit in order to finish off the handle shape. Now we'll go back into our CAM program and generate toolpaths for the aluminum body in the same way. You can see that the process of making toolpaths for the aluminum body is very similar to the wooden handles. We stick our model in, tell it the size of the material that we'll be using, and then set the parameters as necessary for cutting aluminum. Most of the time when you're cutting metals, you'll be using a reduced step over and step down in comparison to cutting wood. This cutting operation will also be using an 8th inch bit, as we've selected. However, you'll see when we switch over to the machine view, we're actually using a single flute bit, which is better suited towards cutting aluminum. Just as before, we're going to load this G-code up into CNC.js, and set all the zeros, and locate our material on the machine bed. Once we've switched over to the single flute cutting tool, we can run the file. Since we use tabs when cutting out both the aluminum body and the wooden handles, these will have to be cut away in order to separate the pieces from the parent stock. Tabs are a great way of ensuring that your material stays in place while you're cutting it, but they're still completely optional. As a last step, we mounted some material sideways and used it to cut out some short dowels in order to mount the two handle halves together. You could also use store-bought dowels for this step. Using these maple dowels, we're able to apply some glue to the two halves of the wooden handles and stick it through the aluminum body and clamp it all together. After leaving this to dry, you can give it a final sanding and a finished coating in order to give you your final product. We hope you enjoyed following along on this slightly reinvented bottle opener project. The feeds and speeds that we used will be posted in the video description, and if you have any additional questions, let us know. Now go have fun with your own CNC. See you guys next time.